All right, mustaches, welcome back to another wow video. And today we're going to be going over five things you should be doing before 7.2. This is my opinion on it. And to be honest with you, I think these are things that you should be doing real quick. Nothing else is going to be in order. So that said, guys, let's actually get right into it. Hold up. All right, my mustaches, and as I said, it's not going to be in any order, so let's get right into it. So first off, at number five is going to be finish up your order hall quest line and also get your weapon to artifact trait 35. And the reason why I say finish up your order hall is because first off, you're going to want to have that third relic, plus you're going to want to actually get your traits up as fast as you can. And the reason why I say that is because in patch 7.2, uh, when it comes available, players who have artifact weapon of at least rank 35 will be uh, further empower their artifact through a short quest chain. Completing this quest chain will consume any ranks beyond 35, increasing the overall power of your artifact weapon. To ensure that losing a ranks 35 plus isn't a downgrade and unlock access to the new traits of 7.2. Any artifact, for, uh, artifact uh, spent on traits beyond 35 will be refunded to you and you'll immediately be able to spend that refund power on the new trait. So if you do get to a max like I am, I'm maxed on my DK, my frost DK, I will be able to refund all that artifact power to the new traits, which is really good because right now I'm really hitting a lot good and hopefully they actually re uh, all that comes back plus the new traits, I'm going to be hitting like a beast. So basically if you want to get on that right now guys, that's something that you really need to do. I think that's like if I had to put this on top of something, this is a one of the priorities because you want to be ahead of your artifact weapon and to be honest with you, it's something you really, really need for future content. Now that's it guys, let's get into the next one. All right, guys, and at number four is actually going to be farming order resources and basically doing this through bloods, world quests, etc. And the reason why you're going to want to do this, as shown in this video, is because of pets and also, too, as well, tier seven increased total champ number by one, meaning that you actually can get more champions to actually do your world, uh, basically their little world quest in the garrison, actually the order resource hall, and tier eight, which is actually a relics, gives you two traits and one instead of one. Like right now, right, if you uh, equip a relic, is only one trait. With this, with a for 30k order resources, you can actually get another trait in each one, which is pretty awesome, guys. I think this is something that we've been looking forward to because it's going to give you a lot more potential of damage, meaning that you can actually um, farm and gear other places faster with these traits now that's it guys let's move on to number three all right my mustaches and at number three is going to be basically a completing broken island pathfinder part one this actually has five achievements that you have to complete and this is the reason why i said in number five you have to do your order hall is because you won't be able to get a flying if you don't complete your order hall too as well now that said you're going to actually want to do broken island explorer which explores the regions of broken islands and you're going to be um basically a variety of the spice of life meaning complete 100 and different world quests which by now if you actually have done um the, if you started from legion or if you just got in within a month or two you should have already had that done guys also to a glorious campaign which is complete your class order campaign also lore master of the legion complete the legion and quest achievements listed below which is let me see this real quick guys because i really want y'all to actually get this and you're gonna actually um basically completing all the criteria of the of the zones of anywhere from azuna the basically the valkyrie story uh story bro good samaritan um that's valshore uh, valshara for folks ain't nothing ain't no mountain high enough which is all these th things you got to actually do is basically the storylines for each of the zones guys and basically just get that done with lore master of legion and i will be going over that too as well in the coming of days probably just to get y'all through it also to your one broken island um diplomat uh, earn revered with all of the broken island res uh, reputations listed below which is cool too as well guys because you remember if you actually get your um Get them actually to uh, the the max level of uh, basically rep right now. Uh, later on, you can actually add on to basically the Suomar um, rep, and it actually gonna give you more stuff at the end of every time you complete it, which is basically like emissary quest, but it's fine, guys. I mean, it's really uh, it's something like you can get a legendary maybe or some gear up there. Now that's it, guys. This is one of the ones that you really need to do if you want flying, because if you don't actually um, do this, you're gonna have a little bit hard time. Because I remember people coming in in wad and saying, "Man, it's gonna take me forever to actually get this rep up." and so forth and then they finally get flying at like after a week or two now if you already got this completed it's not going to be too long until pathfinder 2 comes out i don't think it's going to be hitting 7.2 but it's actually going to be hitting 7.2 mid or maybe sometime in that uh, you know sometimes in there but you can actually get inside it and start doing it while you're actually you know starting up 7.2 that's it guys let's move on to number two and at number two is actually getting your gear, uh, gear level to 870 plus i know this is kind of hard for a lot of ults but to be honest with you not really that hard to actually get to 880 890 right now but if it is hard to you to get to 890 to 880 at least try to get to 870 and the reason why i say this is because the broken shore does have the most of the tough 
mobs out there and to be honest with you even at an 890 something right now that i'm at i'm actually really a 905 but to be honest with you i'm trying to, a little bit different but the, honestly it's a little bit harder for um even higher geared people and so basically you don't want to be caught like in when tanan jungle came out in wad okay a lot of people were just going straight to there and they were caught with like dang i couldn't like you know kill all these monsters as fast as i wanted to or npcs if you want to call them and it was just too much because they were under geared try not to be under geared guys try to get to 870 and if anything's safe try to get to 880 very easy to do run mythic plus run raids what run dungeons everything you can to do this guys remember mythic dungeons regular mythic dungeons will give you 845 and warforged up to 890 so that's it guys um there's always other things you could do i've got 875 gear from mortal quest 2 as well emissaries are a good drop too as well they do 875 cloaks and gear so forth and everything too as well but the best bet is do all the look for raid raids if you can't get into anything else now that's it guys Let's move on to number one and at number one and like I said before this is in no way at all in any order I'm just doing this by this because of five things now that's it guys um the number one is actually be farm spots not being farmed at the time and get new spots and the reason why I'm saying this is because of this guys most of people are gonna be focused on broken island which is fine and I think a lot of people are even I'm gonna be um, farming a lot there and actually getting you the best spots for nether shards and so forth and everything you know as I know the last video showed you a great farm for nether spots nether shards actually you should try that spot right when it comes out now that's it too as well there's gonna be other spots that are vacant and that means anywhere in legion they're gonna be vacant now i don't know if um basically the zone that we're opening up is part of this whole new zone or if it's part of something else as of now i think it's just called broken sword obviously it's gonna be like tanan jungle is gonna be set so it's not gonna be part of any other zone i could have swore it was actually azuna actually at the beginning of the wild expansion so if you went there it just says azuna like so forth just like dalaran says it's azuna but for some odd reason dalaran does not you know basically go off as Azuna World Quest stuff. So anyways, let's get ahead of that and actually going off of farming spots. Now the thing is, is that a lot of stuff spots I show you are farms for, you know, greens of dust, cloth, leather hide, stone hide, everything. Everything that I've showed you so far. I haven't done mining, herb and stuff like that, but I will be doing. But what you need to do right now is find the best spots that you know that people are not going to go to because they're too busy going over there to the Broken Island. Now that said, guys, the reason why I'm saying this is because they're going to be in need of these items for other things, for regiments, for things that are in the new Broken Island, for things they need for later on. Now, the thing is, is that you're going to want to make that gold fast. Go to old farms like, for instance, Dire Mall. Dire Mall is a great farm. I've done it in a, a over two hours, and each hour I got about 20k and a chance of getting basically i think the lead guards van i think vanguard lead guards and those are actually going around anywhere from 100 to 500k gold on my server the server that i transferred to prodmore is actually <laughs> A whopping 250k the last one sold supposedly so now that's it guys the reason why I'm telling you is and going on with this is because you need to be farming stuff as well too as well right now and get prepared for that gold gold is the main thing that you need to need for certain things if you can't afford things first off you're gonna need them for flash you're gonna need them for foods you're gonna need them for things for your new raid at Tuma Sagaris which is gonna be amazing guys I know a lot of you are like man Tuma Sagaris is gonna be one of the best raids out there and it is gonna be one of the best raids it's not gonna be in-game raid hopefully hopefully we have another raid coming out after this because if you remember this is, seems like if to my knowledge it seems like it's a tanan jungle but it hopefully is not a tanan jungle guys let me know in the comments below what you think what you're gonna do on your top five let me know that uh, what, what's one of your things that you want to actually do before 7.2 comes out let me know in the comments below what you like to see on my channel i do enjoy this and i do apologize if any of this video you heard lightning or raining in the background it is so bad right now but i couldn't wait for this video i really wanted to get out to y'all also to the giveaway for the people who are saying where's the giveaway it's actually going to be delayed until friday and the reason why i said is because the video that i needed to get to a thousand did not get to a thousand go check it out i can do it sooner if it gets to a thousand guys i really appreciate it i'm not looking for just the views i'm looking for the commitment of people actually saying you know comments and you know feedback because i like to have a dialogue between me and y'all it's so much fun when actually that happens now that's it guys if you are a new subscriber or even if you're an old subscriber and you don't want to miss the next great video or you don't want to miss the next video of making a lot of gold like i do have a plan for tuesday's video to be on a little bit awesome guys for y'all gold making you don't want to miss that you're gonna to have to want to hit that subscribe and that like and that comment section and you're gonna actually want to share that sorry about that cut out and the lightning turned off all of my power and I actually had to reboot everything so that's it guys like i was saying hit that bell button because if you don't hit that bell button you will never know if i actually put up a video but anyways like always guys if you like the video please like subscribe and comment and stay stashy so you made it to the end you were watching the new outro you're probably like wow 
blown mind everywhere. You're probably in outer space right now because it's so cool. So much animation go- Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is not the new outro, right? Oh, wait, oh, it's still not here, TM.